So let's get, take a look at it. I'm going to walk you through an example of doing embedded code. And then we'll go and uh, do a, um, a external assembly. I, it looks like I have one more slide here as well. The only way to debug results is through the preview report. We talked about that just a moment ago. And then once you do embedded code, you're going to place that inside the report using this function I'm showing right here. So you'll see there's code.function name and the new parameters that you have in that function. You could have multiple parameters as well. So I've given you a little bit of a template here when you're ready to use a custom function on how that could be done. So you see here that I've typed code dot, which is just a call to the custom code section, code dot, whatever my function name is, and then any parameters that I want to pass in. Okay? So let's go through an example here. So minimize my PowerPoint. Minimize this here. Now, uh, the first example I'm going to take you through, I'm, I'm not going to start you off with creating a report. I've actually got a couple reports already created. This one here, for example, is you can see by the title what my goal is here is I want to calculate the age of each of these employees listed here. I have their birth dates. I could bring in another column and maybe see what their length of service is, how long they've worked for me. Uh, but I have uh, at least one column here that I can demonstrate how this custom code can be done. Uh, now, the way we're going to do this is by going back into the design section, we're going to look at the report properties. Uh, now, I've actually kind of skipped around here a little bit. I, I, you'll, you'll notice that some of these functions you probably easily could do uh, inside, um, inside the reporting services expression language, but I'm kind of giving you a taste of a few things that you have available to you. And really, if you're experienced with VB at all, you could really take this, this is pretty endless. I could do really just about anything I want to report based off what I know in VB. All right, so I'm going to go back to my design portion here. And I'm going to be able to, to get to the report properties. I can either right click just outside the design surface here and say report properties. Or I can go up to the top menu here and select reports and report properties here. Either way, we'll take you to the same spot. If for some reason you do not see this report toolbox up top, it may be because you have the properties of another object selected. So if I have the properties of this field here selected, you'll notice the report menu goes away. Just click somewhere in the background, it returns back for you. Okay, so I'm going to select report and report properties. And inside the report properties menu, let me get zoomed up on here as well. Inside the report properties menu, the, the section or the page that we're concerned about is the code page here. The code page is where we're going to be able to do our embedded code. When we get to talking about external assemblies, we're going to be talking about the reference section here. The reference section is where we'll just point a reference to a DLL that we've created previously. And I'm going to walk you through the creation of both of these. Okay? So that's why I'm kind of anticipating not being able to get through all my examples I'd like to show, because I have a lot to show you with the external assemblies. Okay, but for this example, we're going to do the embedded code, which is if we flip onto the code section here, we'll be able to just bring in any kind of custom code that we have. Now, in, in this session, I'm not going to teach you VB. Obviously, I could spend weeks teaching you VB. So you'll see me copy and paste a lot of code in here, but don't worry, I'll be sure to explain what it's doing. And most of the code will probably be pretty obvious what it's doing here. You won't have any doubt on uh, what I'm trying to do here. So I've pasted in a little bit of code here. Looks like my little paste did not do entirely what I wanted it to do. This should actually be double quotes. And basically what this is doing is it's selecting, it's, it's, I'm creating a function. Let me zoom in on this. I'm creating a function. This uh, shared call here is actually not required from the embedded code. I would need that shared function if I got to the uh, external assemblies. So right here, it's not really doing anything for me. But I'm creating a function. It's call, I'm calling it calculate age. And then I'm also adding a variable in here. So I'm adding a variable or a parameter so I can pass values in from, uh, from my report. So I'm going to pass values in from my report value. I've called the variable birth date, which really could be anything. It could just be a date. And it has the data type of date. I'm going to output an integer, though. So I want it to return back an age, even though I'm passing in a date. And how I'm doing that is I'm telling it I want to return back a date diff function. So this is a VB date diff function, but works very similar to how you would do it in a T-SQL. I'm telling it that I want, to, I want to return back the number of years. Here is my parameter that I just created a moment ago up top here. And then I'm also saying that I want to do the date diff based on the current time. So 
So the, the date time dot now function will bring back the current time. So basically I'm subtracting the birth date from the current date. Last step is make sure you do an end function and now I'm good to go. Now if I wanted to have multiple, uh, multiple lines of functions in here, I simply would create another function call below or between these two lines here and I could have multiple different functions in the same report all embedded within this window. So by seeing that, that probably shows you a disadvantage of doing embedded custom code because I'm having to see all this within a single window and it can be really difficult to try and debug uh, multiple lines of code that are all in a little tiny window that doesn't have IntelliSense and it doesn't have the ability to do uh, debugging. Okay. Again, I can only do VB here. So keep that in mind, you're not going to be able to do C Sharp from here. When we get to talking about external assemblies, that opens the window for doing C Sharp. All right, so I have my function that I'd like. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK here. And now what I'd like to do is change this column. Either I can change the column or I can create a brand new column. I'll create a brand new one. And I'm going to call this column H. Now to reference that line of code, or those couple lines of code that I added into the report, it's pretty simple. You actually need to leverage the reporting services expression language to call the custom code but it's really not that difficult to modify. So I'm going to create an expression on this age field that I have here. I'll right click and say expression. Let me, I can't believe I did this. I always make fun of people for having chat windows open. Let me make sure that's not going to be popping up the whole time. I apologize, guys. So how I reference that code that I've just written is I'd say code dot calculate age. This would be whatever the name of my function is. So if I called it uh, subtract age, I would type subtract age here. And then I give it the field that I want to calculate. Uh, let me make sure I actually spell calculate right. How about that? Calculate. Rachel, this is why I want you to proofread my white paper. By the way, uh, within, I could probably within next week, Rachel can confirm this, uh, within next week I'm actually going to be releasing a white paper on the same topic uh, kind of support the class that we're going to have being released. So you guys will see a white paper on the same topic where I'm going to go through an example end to end with a lot of screenshots and all kinds of fun stuff to be able to uh, see how to do custom code if this is new to you. Absolutely. Oh, great. All right, so I've got my function call here and I am ready now to tell which field that I have listed do I want to do that calculation on. I want to do the calculation on the birth date. So I'll select birth date and then close parentheses. Now, um, you'll notice that my parameter I had my function in my column or my field happen to have the same name. That's not necessary. I could have in the date that someone started working here and pass that into the function and I would be able to calculate the age. 